Australian soccer clubs are known for many things, but financial well-being is not one of them. Now Sydney, Croatia find themselves in a position where not only can they make ends meet, there are very few foreigners. Draw specialists, a tough team to beat. At the Chaplain Reserve, George Cross are in the red, and Laurie Schwab is at the microphone. And uh, George Cross playing good, aggressive soccer, closing down Footscray very quickly. There's an example as Bain got his foot in uh, to stop uh, Tapai rather, but Tapai's on the run again. Here they go, Luic. Luic in the box. He's going to square it. He does, and it's in the net. And there's the first goal of the game. It's all set up by Zdravko Luic and put away by Ernie Ozzy Latif. Ozzy Latif being hugged by his teammates, and he scored against his former club again after Footscray was in so much trouble in the opening 15 minutes. Faulkner. And here's a great chance for Bain. Yes, penalty. Penalty for handball. And uh, I think it was Vukcevic against whom the decision was made. He's certainly the one uh, who's complaining the most. The ball bounced and the yellow card being shown now to Vukcevic for complaining, it appears. Dragoslav Shekularat's off his bench and he's clapping the referee. And uh, he's still clapping the referee as Bembridge comes over. And he sent Shekularat off. Dragoslav Shekularats has been sent off the field, the Footscray coach, for that ironic clapping of the referee over the decision to give the penalty. Well, the handball offence, we can see it again. Whether or not it was a deserved penalty, the ball seemed to bounce up and down and uh, strike somebody's arm. And so we wait for the penalty to be, to be taken. And uh, Zora Nikitovic, of course, is an expert at saving them. He saved quite a few against George Cross in a pre-season Nanda Cup game, which Footscray won on penalties. He saved a penalty against Adelaide City. And now he's facing up to Steve Richardson. Richardson takes his shot and he puts it away for the equaliser. So, George Cross has come from behind. The score is Footscray 1, George Cross 1, and Steve Richardson has scored from the penalty spot after that sensational incident, the handball offence, and then the sending off of Dragoslav Shekularats. Vlada Bozhinovsky, uh, it looked like Footscray was very, very lucky indeed in that first half against George Cross. Well, I think George Cross had definitely three easy chances there. Um, we'll accept that we were lucky first half. Um, you need luck on your side, but second half was a different game ball, I think. Um, the penalty, I thought it was out. Referee saw it in, that's what we have to accept now. It's all over. But all in all, I think both sides are happy with a point each. Sensational incidents with uh, your coach, uh, Shekularic, being sent off? Well, I don't think um, Chris gave him a red card. I don't think he sent him off completely. Just told him to leave the bench. So he left the bench and a few... A few supporters got in the in the way then, you know. I suppose he's not to blame if, if someone's going to push him around. No one's no one's to push him around, so... Vlado, you've been out for quite a few weeks now. Will you be back uh, for, the, for the next game against Brisbane City? Well, I've been saying for the past two weeks, next week, next week, I hope next week against Brisbane City will be the one for my comeback. I hope so, again. <laughs> in the second half, although you were under tremendous pressure in the first half, uh, Footscray's uh, stamina seemed to tell because you got a lot more of the play, whereas George Cross seemed to wilt a little bit. I think even last week against uh, Melbourne Croatia, second half we came on top again today. We're a pretty fit side and um, thanks to Shecky we're doing quite well. But if you uh, keep on uh, playing like you did in the first half, uh, you're going to drop off the top of the ladder pretty quickly. Well. You can't rely on luck every game, so we'll have to pick up our, our play a bit more and move the ball around and 
get stuck in a bit more, I think. And George Cross looking a chance for the five now? I think definitely George Cross will make the five because they are a fighting side and they never stop, as we saw today. They're a, they're a threat to anybody out here in Sunshine. OK, thanks, Vlado. All right. Vlado Bozinovsky is talking to our uh, reporter, Laurie Schwab, and uh, Stormy returned to NSL football for re uh, referee... Chris Bambridge and a bit of a crowd stupidity there again.